Hey y'all, I am going to show you how to do the digital version of today's math activity. So we are going to be making something called a cube train and a multiple strip. And what's cool about a multiple strip is it will help you and your classmates to be able to learn your multiples fact, which is a very important skill in third grade. So just a reminder of what our guiding question is today. How might a number line help me count a collection of things efficiently. Let's take a look at the directions. First, we're going to make a cube train for our number. A cube train is when we put several trains together into an equal group next to each other, kind of like the cars of a train. We need to be sure that we use two colors to show the groups of our number clearly. Good thing we have blue squares and yellow squares, so we have two colors ready to go. Let's look at the next part of the directions. You need to have 10 groups of whichever number you are working on. For example, if you are working with fives, you will have 10 groups of five. Let's see, I can tell that the number I am working on is four because it tells me right here. So that means I'm going to make 10 groups of four because that is the number I'm working on. Then the last thing I'm going to do is copy, paste, resize, and move strips. I will label those multiples of the numbers that I'm working with onto the strips. And remember that the number I'm working with is four. Okay, so my strips are ready to go here. My cubes are ready to go. I'm ready to start following the directions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a cube train for my number. I'm going to take a cube, one, two cubes, three cubes, and I'm using these lovely lines that Google Slides gives us to help make sure that they're all nice in a straight train here so I can see them really clearly, and four cubes. My first train is done. Awesome. Now I need to use a second color so that I can really clearly see my groups. So I'm going to make a second group of four. Two, three, and four. Okie dokie, so now I know how to make my trains of four. I'm gonna fast forward this part of the video so that you don't have to watch me pull all of my trains out. I have made my train of cubes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten groups of one, two, three, four in two different colors. Um, you can see that I've had to problem solve a little bit because my train did not all fit in one straight line, which is totally fine. My what I did was I just continued my train on a new line below this one so that I could stretch them out next to each other. So now that I have made my trains and I have 10 groups of each color, now all I need to do is copy, paste, resize, and move these strips. So remember that to copy and paste, we are going to right click on the shape and we are going to hit copy, or just like you see here, you could hold down the control button and the C button at the same time. Once you've hit that, your little uh, strip is copied, and now you need to paste it onto your slide. Remember to paste, you can either right click and hit paste, or like you see here, you can click Control and V. So now I've got another copy of my strip. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to move it up here so that it's underneath my train, and then I'm going to resize it so that it's the same size as my train. See how it is now the same width as my train? Now I am going to copy and paste it so that I make a nice strip that runs underneath my train. So remember I'm going to either right click and hit Control C or I can just hit the button here and then I'm going to paste. And I'm going to do that until I have 10 strips all lined up next to each other. All right, I'm gonna fast forward again. 
All right. I have my whole strip ready to go, and now I am ready to start labeling it with the multiples. And this is where I'm going to be able to count my collection really efficiently. Remember, I'm trying to figure out how many cubes are in my entire train. And I'm going to do that really efficiently by counting by fours, or skip counting along a one, two, three, a number line, a line with numbers that show the different segments. Okay, so here's my first group of four. Four, count with me. Eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. So I now know that the total number of cubes that I have in my train is 40. Another way that I could think about this is that I could represent this with an equation. I know that I have 10 groups of four, and I know that that equals 40. So you can see that we're starting to work our way towards really deeply understanding what multiplication is. Awesome. Thank you for taking a look at this digital assignment. And once you have your finished strip, just like I have, you are ready to submit it to me, Mrs. Hamilton. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next time.